Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We got uh, 12 listings today, and later today I'm taking my wife out for, we're going to uh, to have dinner, stay to bed and breakfast, come back, kind of a 24-hour thing. And what I've noticed over the last 10 years in my business is I see a lot of relationships very quickly disintegrate and things happen. And what I've learned is you just, you have to carve out that time. I know everybody says, oh, you know, I'm busy, I'm busy. Well, you're never too busy for the things that really matter. So please carve out that time with family, friends, uh, spouses, whatever is important to you. That I, I'll tell you, I've seen it over and over. The time spent is directly correlated with happiness. There was actually a study done. I, I, we'll get to the properties in just a second, but there was a study done by an Ivy League university, and they said, you know, are people in the north happier than the south? Are people that make more money happier than people that aren't and the only thing that they could directly correlate to happiness was meals with friends and family it was the only thing and I thought that was absolutely fascinating so it, it comes back to quality time okay so let's get to the list and we've got this one here on at 1390 Main Street Bristol on Main good convenient location to get on the the uh, the highway uh, it's not far from James Snow and 279 is the price which is a good price for a two bedroom plus one washroom and 767 square feet is on the small side of a two bedroom with the higher ceilings on the fourth floor um, I like the two bedroom in this price range and I think it gets a thumbs up and it's got good views too that's the party room and you know for having events and things like that it's good there's a bit of a gym there and i would say overall this one definitely gets a thumbs up uh brassard is a sumac corner and so it's 1338 square feet this room is actually this little spot right here and it comes in very handy you could have it as a home office uh, an exercise room hobby room all kinds of things it's right on the main floor uh, and then upstairs you've got some upgraded floors you got a good looking kitchen and two bedrooms and two full washrooms and uh, and there you go so that's the price for this one it's very much in line with what else is sold uh, Wilmot is 389 normally you'd look at the square footage here and go 50 and 41 square feet most of those are going up in the 400s some of its upgrades in the house it's not exactly like a blow your mind kind of home inside but some of it is that it's facing dairy road and so the wilmot doesn't get a lot of drive-by traffic there's if you don't live on wilmot you don't usually go on it but you're going to hear the, the road noise for sure it's a nice deep 100 foot lot too it's gonna sell fast for sure. That one's poised to uh, to sell very quickly. Davis Lane is a uh, is a front back house. Anything under 400 right now, I would say, is in probably like a B location, like a semi under 400. Very hard to find in Milton right now. Um, but we're seeing like Wilmot, like everything. There's there's a home on Wise Crossing that backs onto the plaza. Beautiful pictures, and you look at it, it's been a couple weeks on the market. You figure it should have sold by now. Um, there's one on Chutch Match right now. It's backing onto a future plaza. You're going to have Sobeys right behind you. So there's nothing under 400 that I consider to be in a good area with a backyard. There's the three stories, like the one on Broussard. Um, but if somebody's looking for more of a two story with a basement and a yard, very tough to find. Um, I don't know if the pictures really show this one off on Davis, but I think the price range itself has a lot of momentum. Uh, another one on Wilmot, another one that faces dairy. Uh, head to head, I'd say this one certainly gets the nod from my end in terms of like just better finishes. Um, replacing the white hood fan with black or stainless steel is a very high return improvement and the rest of it looks good I, i'm not sure if it's the same model as the uh, the other one on wilmot but they look like they're around the same uh square footage chestnut model is what it's called so anyway nice stuff uh lots more upgrades that one might even inch over 400 they might get multiples on that uh defer is four night or defen baker is 419 um this one is a hillsview model uh pot lights hardwood floors you got the hardwood there. I would, I mean, even different colored stairs. I mean, a bit of forethought certainly could have been to put the hardwood stairs in. It's very expensive to do after the fact. It's not too bad from the builder. One of those upgrades that I highly recommend doing. It just opens up your options in the future. Uh, if you ever decide to do main floor hardwood, 
and you want to keep it on the medium to dark scale that tends to be more of the popular trend uh, Ferguson is 534 it's a Wyndham corner with a finished basement these really were selling well last year they were getting huge money and then they kind of slowed down a little bit over the last few months uh, depending on what set of stats you're looking at I wouldn't be surprised if one of them popped and then everything else just really started uh, selling high um, but the Wyndham's were hugely popular at the end of last year you couldn't touch one for less than 530 um, meanwhile similar other models were going for a lot less something about the Wyndham had some magic to it and sometimes that's what ha what can happen comparative value comes from like one big sale can change the whole game we see that a lot in the village town so Pettit Trail is 559 and uh, you've got a nice open concept home there's just one big room on your main floor and uh, the pot lights good finishes inside uh, it is less than 2,000 square feet it's close to 2,000 I think it's 19 something and uh, and it looks like they've got a two-piece bathroom but it doesn't mention anything uh, in here about a finished basement there's nothing in the photos the only time you see finished basements is fully finished basement so there could be a little hidden thing if you get in on this one and before the rest of the market is aware of the fact that it is a finished basement so steps one and one and two where I normally check about a finished basement they don't even show anything so um, anyway it could be a little bonus for uh, for somebody bar crescent 576 I start seeing single garages up in this range and it's you're definitely competing with the double car garages there's no doubt about it this one's 2200 square feet plus the finished and separate living dining comes in handy because you can use that front living room for a variety of reasons kids playroom uh, an office anything like that and the the kitchen is sort of out of order they they go main floor and then they go upstairs and then back to the kitchen um, looks okay to me finished basement is going to help them we did see one of these models sell for around this price with uh, but it was nice inside not to say this one isn't but I think the other one that sold in this range probably was a little bit more upgraded uh, Cochrane Terrace is 739 and usually when you see Cochrane Terrace you say well I mean that's you know this is a um, you know one of the spirit plans it's uh, 2300 square feet I mean the word over improved kind of comes to mind it's beautiful inside you've got the waffle ceilings the wainscoting uh, it, a good version of this one like maybe not at this level would go like in the low sixes so they're really asking for a lot not to say it's not nice I wish them all the best it looks like a model home uh, but I don't see a lot in here that that could really sort of jam this one up into the sevens uh, although you do get a, a big premium when people kind of drop their jaw and say holy cow um, it looks like so there's a look out basement it looks like the lots a little bit deeper but I'm not sure if there's a huge lot premium on this one which would certainly help the argument either way it's nice and speaking of like over improved homes uh, this one on Bayless is a killer it was up past 1.1 it's at 1.1 now and uh, if you look inside here I mean it is just beautiful um, you're talking about 5,000 square feet of space you're talking about a backyard that has some beautiful views a wine cellar how many homes do you look at today that have that uh, escarpment pool there is still some backyard beside that you can see it on the virtual tour um, 162 foot deep property I mean we sold the first home over 900 in uh, in New Milton and that was a couple years ago so is Milton ready for an over a million dollar home possibly I mean Heathwood sold those ones right uh, where Maine and Given split off and they sold them years ago for like nine hundred thousand dollars so one of them is gonna pop uh, I think this one certainly deserves to, to pop the seven-figure mark and uh, it's lovely it's wonderful uh, this one on fifth line is the last one for today 2.79 10 acres you've got a house some of the photos aren't exactly uh, high resolution I think something happened when they tried to put them in um, it's nice it's a big home like it's you've got 6700 square feet of uh, living space so if you have a big family or if you need that space it could certainly be a good thing uh, there's your lower level too and then you've got your uh, your outbuilding 
which you usually don't get a lot of money for, unfortunately, because they do cost a lot of money. Anyway, uh, any questions about anything in the list, give us a call. We're here to help you. We run tours seven days a week. You can sign up over there, and you can also book a time to meet me at Starbucks and just talk about your plans, or you can come to the next buyer class. And we're just finalizing the date for April, and when it's up, we'll put it up on the site. So have a super day, and we'll talk to you later.